Alice Mazzoni per Eurofonica insieme a Ska Keller, presidente del, del gruppo dei Verdi e dell'EFA al Parlamento Europeo. So welcome Ska Keller to Eurofonica and let's talk about a little bit uh, the relationship to, of Europe with the United States, especially now with Trump. So which would be uh, the best answer from Europe to, in response to Trump's measures against the freedom of movement? I think what the European Union needs to do now is to strengthen itself. I mean, Trump goes for disunity, he wants to destroy the European Union, at least his ambassador says so. So I think what we really need to do is to strengthen the EU and be the counter model to everything that Trump says. Well, not, like for example, when it comes to the Muslim ban, he's not letting in refugees. I think the European Union really should let in refugees, not just because of Trump, but also because of international obligations, our humanitarian obligations. We should really become the counter model to uh, this uh, nationalist, uh, to this fortress and wall building thing. That I think would really be important. And also to strengthen the EU when it comes to foreign policy in the sense that we speak with one voice and not, you know, one minister running to the US saying, oh, we want to be friends and then the other one saying like what the hell is happening okay and as I'm sure you know uh, when dealing with migrants and refugees different member states in Europe are facing different challenges for example Italy or Greece are first arrival countries while for example Germany and other countries are countries in which migrants and refugees would like to stay for longer periods so uh, in your opinion how could these different point of views and interests and needs coexist in a unique common European policy about migration? We as Greens in the European Parliament have actually come up with a proposal about how the distribution of refugees could work. Because it's true that it's a common European challenge to deal with all asylum claims, for example, to have a proper and dignified reception and all of that. And you can't leave it to one country, be it Italy, be it Greece or whatever other country. So, But it's also important to make sure that the preferences of the refugees themselves are being taken into account because we're talking about people here. And some people might have family in one country or have community links or simply have a, um, you know, a good connection to another country. And I think it's very important that we take those preferences into account. I mean, and not everyone will want to go to the same country, but we also have to increase the incentives to go to countries where currently there's not a lot of refugees, because then, of course, the chances are low that there's going to be family members, community members, that anyone there speaks the language. But also, also those countries will have to, something to offer, for example, better integration possibly into the labor markets or a more targeted you know, program for the integration of refugees because there's simply less. And once you have some, then the community will grow as well. So I think um, there is a lot of things that you can do in order to make countries attractive for refugees, but also to, you know, to explain to refugees why they can't go to their country of first choice, but why the second country of the choice is not so bad either. Okay, and what about the member, the member states of European country of European Union that seems to be not interested or not want to comply about the European policies about migration? There is a lot of countries, I think, in in this period that are trying to not get in touch with this problem. So, if facts shows that we can't convince them, we should impose on them this kind of policies. And how? Well. The asylum law is European law. Every member state has to follow it. There's no exception. So it's not a matter of do I want to or don't I want to. It's a matter of law. You have to follow it. That's very clear. Okay. Thank you so much, Ska Keller. And uh, grazie a tutti. Eurofonica, Alice Mazzoni.